All right. So before I start off with electrical networks and the relation to random box, I I have to just uh, recall some basic uh, definitions and important concepts such as Dirichlet form, also called Dirichlet energy. So as you know, for if you want to extend uh, your your all of your theories from uh, undirected graph to weighted graphs, then you need to just set up some uh, definitions. So, so when I say Wx, it means the sum over, for example, x, the sum over all weights that goes out of x. And mu of a is the sum of such weights, such wy, for all y's inside the a. And uh, the generator of x, also called Laplacian operator, is this is really important in the next uh, five lectures or more. So Laplacian of f of x, you should consider it as sum of these terms, f of y minus f of x. And the uh, Dirichlet energy, so the variational approach uh, is is really useful when, when you want to do, when, to, when you want to just use some test function to quickly approximate. So Dirichlet energy is of for, for two function f and g over the graph is the sum of w x y for any x y so so it's a double sum of f of y minus f of x times g of y minus g of x. This is the Dirichlet energy. So for each weighted graph. So it is weighted, it has weights W or omega. We have a Dirichlet form. Dirichlet form. And uh, so an important uh, things in uh, harmonic analysis, probabilistic potential theory, in graph theory, random box on graph, everywhere you will see that a function, we call it a function h from v to r, we call it, it is harmonic in a subset of your vertices of the graph if your Laplacian of h of x equal to zero for any x. So the equivalence of that is that, for example, when you say Laplacian of x, it means that by definition, it's just wxy, f of y minus f of x. So when your Laplacian is equal to zero, it means that wxy summation over y times f of y is equal to what it what remains is wxy f of x summation over y. And because it is summation over y, so f of x can go out and you sum over wxy summation over y. And as I told you, this is just wx. So what we conclude is that your f of x, your harmonic function, satisfies wxy f of y x. So I mean the so it's like averaging from so each each x has some neighbors such as y and you're averaging. So so the continuous version of that, for example, integral of f respect to some measure and some uh, uh some constant. And then so you see it has a continuous analog as well. But here we are talking about uh, uh, the finite uh, discrete uh, case. 
So when I say f of f is a harmonic function, it means it satisfies this. So as you know, the harmonic functions, uh, when we talk about harmonic functions, we have to talk about maximum principle as well. Because the harmonic functions, uh, I mean, satisfying maximum, it satisfy maximum principle, it means that if, if k is a non-empty compact subset of u, then f restricted to that compact subspace k attains its maximum. So for example, here is maximum, here is minimum. So attains its maximum on the boundary. So it, it should not be something like this. It should not be something like this. So it, it, it does not attain its maximum at the interior, but it attains its uh, uh, maximum or even minimum on the boundary of the K. So if it is the K, compact sub, sub, subspace K, then uh, this satisfies like this. And also the harmonic functions, it is very popular even uh, everywhere, you you hear that it satisfies this integral of x and r u d of what v. So it satisfies mean value property. It means that really that function evaluates at any point that you imagine. It's just the mean value property of u overall. For example, you have a volume. It's just the average over these volumes. And also the Harnock inequality, when you talk about um, harmonic functions, per harmonic function, and all of those things, you also have to talk about Harnock inequality. Why? Because if, if A is a non-negative, um, for example, if a harmonic function, if you have a non-negative harmonic function, in just a bounded domain omega, then for every connected set V, which is a subset of V bar, which is a subset of uh, omega, the supremum of U. So computer scientists like to talk about in terms of approximation factors and those things. Uh, so this is what they need. It is it is a C times C factor approximation for supremum of U. So it cannot be greater that C factor approximation, C times infimum of U over all vertices. And this holds for, for just the constant. And the constant depends only on your vertices and the omega space. So these were some basic definitions that you need to know before we start talking about electrical networks. Now we are ready. So imagine that you have a graph. For example, A is here, B is here, some just some graph, for example. And then you put a voltage, because I said electrical engineering, we used to just model the battery or voltage generator to be something like this. And then we connect your battery, one voltage, one volt battery to the both sides of your favorite vertices. For example, pick any two vertices, for example, A and B. And then F of B, just put the voltage, as you see here, we, we force the uh, voltage or the potential, some people say, of B to be 1. And the potential of A is 0. So when we say the conductance, for example, conductance WE, it's just the, uh, just the weights of that. Conductance, so it means WE. And resistance is just 1 over conductance. And in Kirchhoff, in uh, 1847, of course, he was not a probabilist, 
And all of these is just a coincidence. So the Ohm's law, Ohm's law, uh, we want to say that the potential, potential difference is equal to current times resistance. And your resistance, as I said, is 1 over Wxy. And your current, uh, let's say it's Ixy. When you put that for any x and y's, for example, x here, y in here, you have I of x and y. So I of x and y is your current that is produced after you solve that linear equations, set of linear equations, a system of equations, but they're all linear. And f of y minus f of x, potential difference, so you get that, these equations. Now there is another law which is very important called conservation of current. So it is the sum over all flows is, is equal to zero. So let's see what happens if we write, so for any, any, y, any vertex which is adjacent to x, the sum over all uh, these such flows is equal to zero. So we can write it as wxy, just the definition that I told you, times f of y minus f of x. And as you remember, this is just a definition of Laplacian of f of x. So f is harmonic because you see Laplacian is equal, Laplacian is equal to zero. So f is harmonic. So f is harmonic. And uh, so f is a solution to the Dirichlet problem and f of b is equal to 1, and f of a is equal to 0. And it satisfies the Laplace equation, which is equal to, so for any x in v, just exclude a and b, we can prove uniqueness in a finite networks. And you might ask, okay, so what is the connection with, with these electrical networks and those physical laws to the random walk that we understand in mathematics. So I will say that, uh, so if, if you just define T of X, the heating time, the time that you need to heat X, for example, the minimum time you need that your random walk equals X is T of X time to hit x. And uh, so we, de we can define a very beautiful function in terms, so it's, uh, in terms of probability. So the probability, if I start from x, for example, you have x, uh, so some pass goes here and it hits a, some pass goes here and it hits b. Of course, uh, Martin, uh, uh, Martin used to, I mean, Martin Barlow used to talk about uh, uh, the, uh, I mean, first, um, the effective resistance between two sets. But if your sets are just singletons, that then it is the things that I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm using uh, this style of computer scientist rather than, uh, rather than mathematicians, but later you will see that we generalize to the set and both of the things you see, both of them are the same things. No matter uh, in the, the, the you, are, you, are, you are reading the literature of computer science or the literature of classical probability, classical potential theory, and so on. So the beautiful function that uh, we always like to talk about is the probability that time to hit B is, is less than time to hit A. So what is the probability that when I hit B, for example, this, this, could, be, this could be high. If I start from X, uh, the, the time you need to, time uh, takes to, to reach B, if it is less than time to reach A, it means that phi of X 
if starting from x is a higher value. So as you see, phi of a is by definition, just replace x with a, so this becomes t of b less than t of a. So this is uh, 0. Why? Because we are starting from a, not, not from x, any x. We are starting from a, so the time to hit b uh, the, to be less than t of a is 0 because, uh, because we have already reached a. So time to b we never hit b so we we are we are starting from a the the same for the same reason phi of b is 1 because if you start from b uh, the uh, the time to hit b uh, should be uh, all events should be the time to hit b is less than time to hit a because we are already starting from b so we are already t of b for example becomes 0 and 0 is less than any number that you imagine if you start from from b and that's why this is equal to 1 and this is the everything that you need to know to understand what are these why are these connected to random walks so recall that probability that x n plus 1 becomes x such a uh, condition on x n uh, in the previous step you are at y is just the weight of the uh, weight of the weight weight between the vertices of x and y divided by uh, w of x and the uh, you just just use the Markov property uh, we can observe that uh, the probability if you start from x that uh, time to hit b is less than time to hit a you can say okay i start from from uh, first i start uh, from x and then we, i go to b so x so the probability that x1 so it's just a mark of property and x0 equal to x times the probability that I start from y, then time to hit b is less than time to hit a. And this is just phi of y. And this is just, by definition, wx. And this is just, by definition, phi of x. So phi of x satisfies this. So phi of x... Uh, is uh, harmonic and uh, so we can we can say that phi of x is equal to omega x y phi of y and uh, because we know that w x y over w x uh, summation over y is equal to 1, so we can say uh, phi of x, I'm just repeating it in a different way, so that you see that from any any way, this, these are equivalent. So this times that is wxy over wx phi of y summation over x. So we conclude that Omega of x, y times phi of y minus phi of x is equal to zero. And say what? This is just your Laplacian of phi of x. So phi is harmonic because it satisfies Laplacian of f x is equal to zero. So you see how beautiful it is that these electrical networks are related to a uh, random box and graph. Uh, and other things from uh, that you need to know is flow of uh, A and B, and it's just a summation over all A X that you have achieved. So the effective resistance is just by definition. Sometimes we call it R F of A and B. The effect of resistance is just one over flow between A and B. 
So if we have, if A, we have a resistance here. So for any uh, two vertices, A and X, it has uh, such a resistance.